Hello, so the point of this video will be to show you how to build uh, a basic ship that when you launch it will actually fly. So I'm going to show you the basic shipyard uh, tutorial here. So starting out here, this is the interface we have. Uh, this will show us the stats on the left when we've added different modules and then subsystems to the modules of our ship. We can save it, we can load previous saved files, uh, we can change the profiles up here to color stuff, and then we have our available modules and different placement uh, methods, node versus freeform. As a general recommendation, do not use freeform at this point, use node. So starting out, we're going to do a size one ship, and we're going to start out with uh, a cockpit here. And the important thing to note is when this loads, you see how this uh, block is configured here? You always want to place the cockpit or an engine in the proper direction. So right now, this is the proper direction, cockpit forward, if we were to place this here. But if we were to, say, mess up and place the uh, command module facing towards us, I mean, that shouldn't seem like much of an issue, and I'm sure it won't in later versions. But in this version, if we want to go ahead and try and add an engine to this, uh, we'll go ahead and try and add that one. It won't... Give me a sec here. There we go. It won't add the engine, it won't allow you to place it with the uh, <laughs> the uh, actual rocket engines facing out. Uh, instead it only lets you place it facing to the side because it's, this is the direction it thinks the engines need to be placed. You can't really assign a coordinate system to your ship yet. So that being said, let's well, incorrectly place it and it's a great time to show you another feature. Um, and then as a general note, uh, the way you move around the shipyard, you right click and hold to rotate, you left click and hold to pan this across, and then you zoom in and out using the scroll bar, which is slow for fine adjustment, or you can use W and S to zoom in more quickly and out more quickly. W zooms in, S zooms out. So we can right click on that module, and we have four options here. We can close not do anything. We can add subsystems, which we'll get into later when it comes to actually building a ship that'll fly. We can remove and completely get rid of this part, or we can modify how it's placed. So I'll just show you modify will allow you to, you know, go ahead and try and place this in other places. Um, and then, as a general note, controls to change the orientation of this. R and F will select different nodes to uh, place this engine, which I'll show you on a few other modules. And then once you do have it correctly placed, you can use Q and E to rotate it. So we'll go ahead and replace that. Uh, we're going to remove it, and then we want to remove our cockpit, which it won't let us do that since it was a base piece, so if you click Modify, you're good. So that being said, we're going to place the cockpit going in the correct direction forward. We're going to hit R and F to get the cockpit facing the right way. We'll click and place it. Alright, so now now we get it placed the right way. We're going to go ahead and add some hole pieces to this. Uh, we'll go ahead and add... Give me a sec here. Yeah, we'll add two of these pieces. So, to add pieces, what you do is... Um, I've been doing it, but you just go ahead and click. It'll grab the piece, and then you add it over here. And then again, you hit... R and F to get that configured correctly. And then we'll go ahead and add another piece. And yep. So you again you click here and then you add the module how you want. You click again to place it and then you keep clicking more modules to then click and place them in the window. So we've got our hull, we've got our cockpit, now we're going to add our engine. We'll add this one looks cool. So there's our engine for the ship. And just to go through the available modules, so I've gone over command and control, hull, engine. We have weapons, so we'll go ahead and tack on a few uh, dual guns to this. So we'll have some guns facing forward here. And then we'll add a gun facing that way. 
to cover us on the right side, and then one to cover us on the left side. And the reason you do this is, uh, I'll do a different uh, tutorial for gameplay, but um, with the targeting system you can rotate around the ship while you're flying and target, say, targets over here. These weapons wouldn't fire, but this cannon would then shoot at the target over here. <laughs> so you do want to place weapons uh, firing not just forward to defend yourself. Alright, so we've got those weapons placed, and then we'll just put a big old uh, turret facing out the back to defend us there. And we'll put one on the bottom. Alright, so there, there we go. We have weapons, we have an engine, we have the whole sections in the cockpit. And then just to show you, uh, Miscellaneous right now only has these little spike fins, which the main purpose of those, I think, are to look cool. <laughs> so see if I can get this to work. Let's go ahead and add a spike fin underneath just to make it look cool and we've got our basic ship structure laid out and as a general note um, you have different types of modules as I've shown you and then you have module sizes. None of The only module type that's going to change with size is your cockpit so these are all the size 1 cockpits. Size 2 is going to have a different selection, up to size 5, say a large, super large Dreadnought or Death Star class uh, ship will have uh, different bridges. And just for kicks, if we go ahead and try and add that, you can see how large this thing is, so we're not going to do that. Or we will and I'll just remove it. <laughs> um, so yeah, going back then to the class 1 size, since we've got our ship pretty much built here, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is... Like I said, right now it would not fly uh, right out of the gate if we launch because we have mass and durability, which came down to what we added in here. We still need to populate power, power needed, thrust, crew aboard, and a few other things. And then sensor range. So we're going to start with a cockpit. You right click on it, you click subsystem, and then in subsystem we want to add a sensor to detect targets. And then we're going to add a sensor boost to boost the range. And then we'll add some uh, ballistic plating to make the make it have some armor plating. So that takes care of the cockpit. And then for this, we'll go ahead and add subsystem. We're going to make that section the crew quarters. So we'll put down crew quarters and yeah, medical bay. Why not? Might need that. And as you see here, it then populated uh, living quarters. Still doesn't have crew aboard, though which is interesting. Um, probably need nutrition and recreation too. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's go ahead and add subsystem and see if adding a mess hall gets us crew on board. And then recreation did not get us crew on board. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that because the ship will still fly without this, without people. So we'll go ahead and add a reactor for power, which adding one reactor satisfies the power needed. So we've got our power. And then to be able to fly, we're going to add a subsystem to the engine section. And we're going to add an engine one and then an engine boost. So looking here... Uh, power needed is 90, which is within what we have, consumable-wise. Master ability. Oh, and we have one crew member on board now. And then looking at the secondary stats, we have a sensor range of 5,000 and maximum target 6. Uh, the kinetic field activation, the cargo max drones, and drone range, I assume are going to be updated in future versions, since again we're on 0.018C. Because uh, right now those don't populate, even if you do add a kinetic field generator uh, to the ship. So, there you have it. That's the basics of building a ship that will fly. So we'll go ahead and add, add a name for this. We'll call it the... Heck, I don't know. Tutorial ship. Real original. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and save the tutorial. Um... And then clicking here, you can load up different ships too. Um, and if you check out my channel, I've got a few other ships uh, up there that I've designed in here. And just to prove to you that this will fly, we'll go ahead and click launch on our ship here. Oh wait, before I do that, just to show you, you can come up to profiles and click in each box. And that'll change the colors of the ship. So, 
go ahead and make it red. Let's toss on some black. And there we go. I've colored our ship. And save. So we'll go ahead and launch here. We'll scroll out. And there you have it. Our ship is in space. To prove to you that it'll fly, we'll go ahead and hit the space bar here. You can see we are moving forward. We'll hit R. And there we go. We're cruising. And then you see our weapons. Our cool little spike fin. One crew member on board. And then X is the targeting system just to show you what I was talking about before. And if you see here, these will fire out the front. I think it just lagged a little bit. And then if you were to right click and be like, oh crap, we got a target on the right side. As you can see, this is firing at the right and this target, this is not. And alternatively, we go to this side, this one's firing, this not. Now the back side, these are firing. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope that helped. Uh, if you have any feedback, leave me something in the comments, comment section.